Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky, and I'm back with another Dracalia Lost video. Today we're going to be looking at the last two units, just because the last two units of the Fee uh, revisiting. I'm not going to be using them this time, just because these two units are... Well, I'll get into it at the end anyway. When I, I Well, I'll explain. There's a reason why I'm not using them for the specific events you would want to use them for. Um, but yeah, that's going to be today's video, so we're going to do a quick look through them, look at what they do, and then kind of, in general, think about what they could possibly do. Uh, so yeah, that's today's video. And again, if you end up liking it, leave a like. If you want more Dragalia stuff or video stuff in general, you can subscribe to me. Now let's get into it. So first unit up is Fjorm. Uh, it's Fjorm and Alphonse, I should mention. If you want to see Martha and Veronica, they have their own two separate videos in another... Um, they have their own two separate videos. So you can check my channel. Again, subscribe. Uh, we got Fjorm. And then, oops, let me move my mic. She has Frigid Smash, she deals water damage to the enemies directly ahead, and infl inf inflicts freeze. Inflict, inflicts, inflicts freeze. Ice Mirror, summons an Ice Mirror that deals water damage to the target and nearby enemies. Additional bonus damage will be dealt relative to the damage taken while Ice Mirror is active. HP 9%. Well, she's not 50, so she, uh, but she's, uh, he has, she has an HP co-ability, and chain co-ability is Frostbite equals user strength up 6%. Last Bravery increases the entire team's strength by 30% and defense by 40% for 15 seconds. When the user's HP drops 30% once per quest. Burn Resistance 100% and Skill Prep is at 75% and that's basically it. So yeah, this is Form. Uh, so the first thing I should mention, let's go back to her skills for now. So Ice Mirror is the one move from her that I think needs the most work for the specific mana spiral she's about to get. The reason I say this is because... I really like Ice Mirror on paper. The idea of like, oh, you just tank a hit and then you deal way more damage. The problem with it though is that you have to still tank the, the hit, meaning that you take full damage and if you die, then guess what? You're about to get completely wrecked <laughs> because if you die during Ice Mirror, there's no defensive buff. There's no like, oh, take reduced damage or anything. It's literally the damage you take, you deal back to the enemy. Now... I don't know how they could rework this skill in some way, because the, um, I guess the way that it currently works is that you need them to deal a lot of damage, so af actually if you half the damage, then it hurts in the long run, but I guess that would be better for like kind of the higher end content for sure, like if they do a big blast, you take it, and also you can get, still get stunned out of it, and you can still get a lot of other th stuff out of it. In general, there's no real immunities when you use this mirror, you, be you become super open. Now, when it does hit and you take a lot of damage and you're able to deal it back with using it, you can deal a lot of damage. The problem is, is that actually the surviving and being able to do it. So I think Ice Mirror definitely needs a pretty big rework. Frigid Smash is... I don't know. This one's actually pretty funny because I think that how basic it is kind of ends up working out perfectly fine. I don't know if maybe they could put it on a lower cooldown or something. I don't know how they're gonna rework this one but I, it's very basic maybe that's the one thing that they'll change maybe they'll make it do a little bit something extra special we'll see about that now let's see um her abilities last bravery now if i remember correctly so the, one of the reasons i'm not showing them in their specific element that you would use them in is that fjorm really isn't used in the current i shouldn't say that at least from the meta I understand from um, Heinbrun Hilda, which is the one I used, and I've beaten it on Master and stuff. But the way I beat it is that there was one Gala Ellie, there was one healer who I believe was young, and then there was two Hunter Cerises. Now you don't need double Hunter Cerise, but usually I think it is good to have kind of like a backup that can hit from longer range and not get in the way of Gala Ellie. Because the way the, the run currently goes is that Gala Ellie distracts the um, High Brew Hilda. She, she distracts High Brew Hilda, and then Zhang is able to kind of cancel out her giant meteor smash. This is, of course, an expert and not. Um, uh, this is an expert and not a master, where in master there's no way to uh, get rid of that specific bomb out of there. But the other thing is, is that, it, that's very important, is that the units I mentioned, specifically um, Ellie, is used, that makes, she's used so that you can actually survive the blast without using the print, I believe. Um, so she ends up being fairly useful for it. So if someone is not going to run Ellie... It's kind of like, well, you're going to have to replace her with someone who can do something similar. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of people dying at the opening blast. Um, 
Now, if I remember correctly, when Fjorm was first released, there actually was a team comp that was four Fjorms taking down Hybrid Hilda. Similar to, I guess, how People does it. I'm gonna guess it has to do with Last Bravery, where, to be fair, this is a pretty good, it only lasts 15 seconds, but it lasts for 15 seconds for a good reason, because it's 30% attack and defense. Uh, only once when it drops down below uh, 30%. So that means that opening blast would immediately drop everyone down to 30%. And then I would assume from that point on, you would just kind of lay waste. You would be very powerful for a very brief 30 seconds, but 15 seconds, but maybe that's all you need. Um, but yeah, I, I'm very interested to see how they're going to buff the Fire Emblem because every Fire Emblem character has this. I just wonder how they're going to do it. Uh, obviously, I think skill prep might go to 100% after her mana spiral. And bird resistance is good because the only fight currently for water is Heinru Hilda, which is the reason why I don't really want to show her off there, is because the she has no real role. She can kind of fight from the back, but I don't think people want. I don't think people currently are super looking into Fjorm. I think the same would have been said for Zanfri. The reason Zanfri got his mana spiral, but currently. Units like Zanfried aren't really used in Brunhilde, so it kind of, kind of, kind of comes like basically what Fjorm is waiting for is for her Agido, because the Agido will hopefully have a different style of play that will kind of allow you to use other units other than like kind of having only one main close-up attacker, and then the others are, um, and the others are. Uh, long distance, that's what I was trying to say. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thoughts on that one. Um, but yeah, it's weird. Very weird. I'm interested to see what they do with her. I like Fjorm. I liked her a whole bunch. I still use her, actually. I don't think she's bad. I just think that she's kind of... She actually is kind of lucky in that only recently they've kind of started um, powering up water. But for the longest time, I feel like water was kind of the weakest element. Um... To show how weak it is, Hunter Cerise completely kind of didn't destroy the meta, but she definitely was like able to make cut entire minutes off of Pine Brood Hilda when she was released. It also is the only element I think that has problems autoing their main boss, which is um, Void Battle Boss, which is uh, Void Agni. But to be fair, Void Agni is a pain in the butt, so not really their fault. But yeah. That's what Fjorm does. Looking forward to her mana spiral. If you if you're still playing Fjorm, by the way, you can tell me what you think could kind of be improved of it. Someone actually who played a lot of Veronica actually gave a lot of good feedback of like, oh, one of the big problems with Veronica is the fact that she doesn't have a skill that drops her below 30%, like all the other Shadow Berserker units. Um, so it actually is kind of tough for her to get there because she has to do it from manual damage. And to be fair, when I was actually testing her, I was having trouble getting her below their, like low HP because it's actually kind of tough now. Um, so yeah, that's her. So again, if you're playing Fjorm a lot and you have some thoughts on Fjorm, drop them down and I I'll read to see what's going on. And of course, if you have any idea for the other units, tell me what you feel um, you would want out of them. Now for Alphonse. Alphonse, he has blue radiance, increases the user's strength by 10% for 10 seconds and deals light damage to the enemy directly ahead. Soul. Deals light damage to the to surrounding enemies and restores 3% of the H of the damage inflicted as HP as the user. Hmm? Deals light damage to the surrounding enemies and restores 3% of the damage inflicted as HP to the user. Uh, this recovery caps at 15% for their maximum HP. He has Dragon Haste and light to HP 60% equals strength up. Light Burst. Uh, buff strength by 50% for 10 seconds when HP drops below 30%. Curse resistance 100%, and skill haste 6%. So that's kind of what he does. He's very basic. Uh, he was the first ever free to play five. It's him and then Mega Man are the two. And it seems like for the most part, crossover free to play uh, characters are all five stars. Um, so here's the main problem with Alphonse. He's kind of greedy only to himself. And that when, it, when he was released, he was okay. He's only gotten worse because other units um, that are kind of greedy for themselves, um, like Albert, for example. Albert has a lot of crazy lightning stuff, so he's able to make his, like, the fact that he's so solo-focused doesn't matter because he can back up that damage. Alphonse only has 50% attack for uh, 10 seconds, and it's only when his HP drops, and it's only once. So it's actually very bad. 
because uh, after that he kind of deals weenie damage and you're not about to end the fight in 10 seconds that's just not how this game operates for the most part um so high zordiac is also the only fight he can currently do which makes it very unfortunate because if you're a sword unit the only person from swords people are looking for is the gala prince because gala prince supports the entire team and he does a whole bunch of other stuff if you're not using gala prince then you're kind of just wasting everyone's time I thought someone was coming to tell me something, but nope. Ghost. There's a ghost in my house. Uh, so yeah, kind of... I'm interested to see how his buff, because he badly needs one. He's not very good. He is, uh, he is again, okay, but he could be way better. For his time, he was okay. So over time, there's just better light sword units that you could use in general. Even if you had Alphonse, there's a bunch of other sword units that you could use over him that are not also the Gala Prince, so. Including a, uh, uh, oh, I think Odette is her name? Let me double, no, let me see. I have her somewhere here. Mm. Yeah, you could use something one like Odetta instead of him, and it would be as fine, really. Um, so yeah, Alphonse, he definitely needs a buff. How they're gonna buff him? Hard to know. Maybe they'll just make it so he deals 100% more damage when he's below 30% or something. Something crazy where it's like he's only good for 10 seconds, but those 10 seconds make, a, make or break a lot of things. To be fair, you can go... 100% attack up would take you a lot of places. I don't know if that would really benefit Zordiark, though. Funny thing is, is that I don't... The reason I'm not using him in High Zordiark is because I don't have a reason to play it. Because I can beat Cayenne, and Cayenne is where you get all the good shadow weapons. And currently, the only reason you want to fight Zordiark is for the medals, for um, awakening uh, light units when they get mana spirals, and... Not Alphonse is going to be the first light unit to get a mana spiral, <laughs> so it's kind of like, eh, no real reason for me to go rush out and do it. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why there was no fighting. But hey, hopefully this makes up for the fact that I'm talking about him. And that's it for the Fire Emblem units. Only I believe two more days now. Two, seven, seven, today's the 17th. Tomorrow's the 18th. This. Mm, Three days. Okay, three days. Um, yeah, three days. Again, time is weird for me. But yeah, that's today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like, comment about how you're currently feeling about these two. How how hype are you for Fire Emblem? Because I'm pretty hyped for it. I'm looking forward to some new stuff. Are you almost done with the pinata event? Because I'm basically done at this point. There's nothing else for me to do besides Fire Emblem stuff at this point. So that's the end of today's video. And remember, if you need uh, someone for videos, that's me. I play a whole bunch of videos. I play video games, I play Dragalia, I play Fate Grand Order, a um, bunch of other gotchas when the moods fight strikes me. Um, I like Bounty Rush, oh I love Bounty Rush. I play Power Rangers, anything. There's so many things I do, you can just play, play with me all night long. All right, goodbye everyone, <laughs> have a nice day.